Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 best music players you can download for free right now. Okay, so remember this is in my own opinion. So yeah, so we're going to do something a little bit different in this video. I'm actually going to be showing you it on their websites instead of downloading each music player separately. So first things first, um, we have Fubar 2000. So this music player is very, very good. Um, but obviously it's only made our fifth place. So if I just click on these images here quickly, you can get a little idea of what it has to offer. So as you can see, this would be your main window. So you've got all your songs list there on the right. You've got information about the song that's currently playing and you've got your album art list. So over here, um, what we got here, so pretty much the same. So all your music's there on the left and then you've got your songs on the right. And here you can actually change the skin. So it's actually like a black background instead of your main white, which is cool. And What's this? So this is basically a simple view of the program. So you can change how it looks, um, the layout of, you know, what you want it to be like. And here, this is your appearance setup. So like you just seen then, you can change your background colors, how you want it all to look, which, you know, it's all very basic, but it's still really good. So here we have our album list. And it actually has a built-in converter, so you can actually change your music song file type, which is a pretty cool feature. And, okay, so you've got your normal equaliser like you normally do on music players, so that's always cool. And you've got, what's this, this is a converter as well. This is your preferences for the converter. So, you know, you can store preferences and then each time it will remember that when you go to convert music files. So that is FUBAR 2000. So like I said, definitely worth a look at. Okay, so next up, we have Media Monkey. So this is my fourth top rated uh, media player. I think Media Monkey is great. It's an awesome program. So as you can see here, um, I can't actually zoom in on that image. No, it's quite small. Okay, so you can pretty much see there what it actually does look like anyway. So it, it looks a lot nicer than your FUBA. So it, it is definitely looking a lot better. I personally think anyway um, it does depend on what you think but also you can sync and back up your Android iPhone iPod and iPad so that that's a very cool feature that I like it really good um, also you can share your audio and video files with your TVs your blu-ray DVD players and obviously other devices so that's gonna be across network so really cool you can record and convert we can do that in foobar anyway um you can burn cds yeah that's cool so the thing about all these music players they are pretty much all the same okay but obviously some of them have extra features and so on but yeah so media monkey definitely my fourth most favorite and moving on from there we now have in third place music b now, as you can see straight away, it looks similar to iTunes, but Music B, it's been around for a long time, and yeah, it's a very, very good media player um, for your music and stuff. It looks cool, the skins are beautiful, it even says that they're beautiful, I think they look absolutely stunning. Um, sync with devices, so just like your Media Monkey, you can sync up with your Android device and stuff. Not sure if it actually supports iPods though, but I could be wrong. Um, we have our Groove Music support. And we've got um, FM so you can listen to the radio and stuff. So yeah, very, very good um, music player. 
and definitely worth checking out. So moving on from there, we have iTunes. Now everyone has heard of iTunes and yes, iTunes can be a bit fiddly and annoying at times. But once you get the hang of it, it can also be a very powerful and good media player. Um, so iTunes, very good. The only thing that's a little annoying about iTunes is it likes to convert all your MP3, uh, ugh, MP3 files to their own format and stuff. So that can be a tad annoying. But once you get the hang of it, you know, iTunes is awesome. And last but not least, we have my favourite. We have AIMP. Okay, so awesome, awesome music player. It is the top. I believe a lot of people fate this being the top. And yeah, it is the top. There's nothing really more to say about it. It's got add-ons. It's got extra skins, icons, plugins, wallpapers, encoders. It's got everything you want. It looks great, as you can see in these little images up the top right here, and it's definitely worth checking out. They're always fixing and improving the program. Um, if we click on main features here, um, that's for your Android device, so you can even have it on your Android device if you want. It's, it's great. It's a great music player, and it's definitely, definitely worth checking out. Um, there we go. Here we go. So this is what your main screen would look like. So it looks good. Um, don't you think? I think it looks great. Um, down below here you've got your functions and stuff. And all the playback that is supported. So it's pretty much covering every single music playback format that there possibly is. It's got 32-bit audio processing, so for better quality, which is what you want when you're listening to your music, you don't want to listen to awful, you know, quality. It's got internet radio, it's um, got its own built-in sound effects engine, so this is like your equalize, equalizer. Um, yeah, so moving now, we've got your music library, um, smart playlists, it's it's definitely worth checking out. It's got absolutely everything built into it. So, yeah, unfortunately, that does bring us to the end of this tutorial. So if you did like this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. And don't forget to post below what your favorite media or music player is. Right. Bye.